watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. What are we going to work on today? Huh? Footwork? All right now. Hey now, my eyes are bad, my footwork going to be bad. Right? That's what it's about. Now, birthday boy, is he going to work today? Birthday boy, you better get your ass going now. Come on, my power's where my eyes are. Squeeze it! Squeeze it! Strain! Good, release. Good. There you go, good. I, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, now get your eyes up. Eyes up, chin up. Give me some more of that. Woo, there it is. There it is. Huh, that boy shaking like jello. Hey, here we go. Come on. <laughs> That's a little bit of Kentucky's D-line coach from the spring practice session. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Our exclusive Kentucky football one-on-ones continue now with Anwar Stewart. Here's some of his conversation with Maggie. All right, Coach, this is our first time talking this spring. You're 11 practices in. What have you seen so far? You know what? I've seen a lot of good talent. We're not where we want to be, but um, the guys are working really hard, giving everything they have. They're really becoming students of the game. Uh, I like our athleticism. I like how physical we are right now and how we're striking. Uh, now, I've still got to work getting off blocks, but overall, very excited about where we are and where we're going. We've talked a lot this spring about the new offense. You all are probably a little tired of even hearing that phrase, this new offense we all keep talking about, but that's affecting your guys a lot, I'm sure, too. How important is it for them to see something different this spring, and how beneficial could that be this season? Well, you know, it's, it's exciting. You know, it's really exciting for us to see what the offense is, is presenting to us because actually what it's doing is really helping us to get ready for the season. Uh, Missouri, you know, last year, if you look at it, you know, they ran that outside zone, and we hadn't seen that you know, all year. And so, you know, we're very, you know, we're doing a really good job right now of being able to play the, the, the outside zone. And, and, you know, we're just all working together uh, up front. You know, Coach Wolf is doing an excellent job with those guys. And we're just going out every day and we're competing against one another. And, and what it's doing is uh, it's presenting competition, but we're also getting better uh, as a group. When you look at it in terms of, of how you approach spring practices versus fall practices, and you can talk about things like, well, Missouri's outside zone really kind of took you all by surprise a little bit last year. Is that something that's easier to focus on when you have so much time right now before the season? Of course it is. But you know what? Uh, during spring ball, you know, you really want to work te technique. Uh, you really want to train their eyes, their hands, their feet, and just really get a really strong foundation, you know, for, for our guys, uh, you know, up front. And then when you throw in a lot of the different schemes that we haven't seen and we're not used to, it really, you know, helps us to be complete. And, and so, like you said, the springtime, there's a lot, there, there's a lot of time, and I try to take everything. If I can steal a minute or a second, I do that with our guys because it's going to help us be that much better in the long run. And spring, I think, also feels like a time where the players have to kind of step up, take a lot of initiative. We've heard a lot about DeAndre Square and Yusuf Corker so far. Anybody in your group that you've seen really step up, leading the young guys, helping them make sure they're watching the tape, they're getting in the weight room a little bit extra? What have you seen from a leadership standpoint? My room has changed unbelievable. Uh, Josh Pascal is he, he's such a great, a great young man. And then you throw Bully in. You throw Big Bully in there. He's been a great leader. Uh, you know, he's Captain Crunch. And, uh, and those guys are leading by example. And you have to have that type. You got to have that leadership from your upper class, your seniors, because they got to show the younger guys, you know, the expectations and the culture. And so with that great leadership, you know, it's going to bring those young guys along also. McCall, he has been so fun to talk to. We had him on the show last week. He also brought up his little brother, Justin Rogers. How is he doing so far? Stifler is doing good. Stifler is doing really good. Uh, Justin's playing hard. He's doing some really good things. Uh, you know, he's really becoming a student of the game. I think what happens is, you know, you see these uh, these these five-star guys or four-star recruits. They come in here, and you know. Um, you know, the fans think, oh, they're ready to play. But this is the SEC. It takes these guys time, you know. Coach Ed and Coach Hill is doing a great job with those guys in the weight room. From the weights to their eating to, you know, the physicality of the SEC, it takes some time. But I tell you what, they're growing up really fast. Uh, you know, that Detroit connection, they're doing really good, and, uh, and I'm blessed to have them. And I want to talk about Sam because he's moving from outside linebacker over to defensive end. How is he doing with that transition so far, and what have you seen out of him? He's doing really well. You know, Sam's a very athletic guy. Um, you know, I'm hoping that he can draw, grow into a uh, Josh Pascal. Um, very physical. He's long, has all the measurables that we're looking for, and he's coming along. You're talking about a student of the game. You're talking about a really smart kid. Um, He's doing a really good job. You know, he's been banged up a little bit, but uh, you know, but he's still in the meeting rooms. 
He's still getting his treatment. He still comes up and he watches, you know, film with us. And you know what? Sam's a, a great addition to, uh, to our defensive line, and I'm lucky to have him. We always like to ask the players, why Kentucky? Why are you here? Why did you end up here? What made the Big Blue Nation stand out? But I think the same can be said to you. What is it about this program that keeps drawing you back in, obviously, as a player and now as a coach? Well, you know what? This is a dream come true for me. You know, it's like I bleed blue. Um, I, I, I love everything Coach, uh, coach Stoops. His vision, I'm all in. If you cut me, I definitely bleed blue. And you know what? I I want to bring a national championship here. I want us to get to Atlanta. And Coach Deuce is doing a heck of a job. I'm honored to be a part of this staff. And now it's my job to to do what my expectations and and just to continue to grow. Uh, coaches, you know, he's changed the culture here. Uh, you know, we're gonna coach hard. We're gonna love even harder. Um, and, and we want all the fans to come out. Let's get these ticket sales up. Let's sell out this place and uh, let's go because I'll tell you what, uh, it's going to be some really, really exciting football coming up this fall. Mm, good stuff. Next on BBN Tonight, we'll bring in the voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach. He'll share his thoughts on the latest session for UK football when we return.